how's it going guys? So I just got back from the car boot. It's bank holiday tomorrow. I was gonna do one tomorrow, but I got some CX fodder, which I need to get rid of. Because there's some nice Dreamcast games I want from uh from the one in Nottingham, so I do this video and then fly off there and they've probably sold them on the internet and when I get there and I'll be like, Well, obviously they sold them before I got there. <laughs> but uh yeah, so it wasn't wasn't too bad today. Uh, sort of 2E as usual. Uh, a lot of people going for games this week. There wasn't last week. It was just sort of me and uh, 2E last week going for the games. This week, this everyone was going for games, it seemed. But uh, yeah, I'll start with last week's stuff. Um, Alright, what did I get first? Right, I got these games first. Uh, so there's a little small one I go to before I go to the big one. Uh, I don't normally find much there, but... A uh, chap pulled out a box of PS2 games. Nothing in there. It was all your generic FIFA and shit. And there was like a wallet on top. And I noticed there was just some PlayStation 1 games in there. So I was like, oh, cool. So uh, I had a flip through there. Uh, they're a pound each. So I thought that's pretty good. So for, they're a bit scratched, which put me off at first. I tried to knock them down to 50p on them, but you weren't having any of it. So for a pound each, I got me Spyro the Dragon. Uh, black disc that does need resurfacing, but for a pound, I'm not leaving it there. Spyro Year of the Dragon, that one, mm, it could do with a resurface. Then we've got a uh, Crash Bandicoot with the black label. I don't know, yeah, well, at least we've got the manuals, I suppose, but then just discs. And I walked around a bit more and I went back and I had a love look and I saw this one, I wasn't sure if it's worth much. Again, it's a bit scratched, but uh because it just fetched a little bit of money. So Marvel vs. Capcom. That was quite a nice find. So yeah, four pounds for them. That's all I got from that car boot. But it was worth it for them. Even though I have noticed CX has got PS1 games on there now, and the prices are pretty good. I noticed some of the Crash Bash is like £4 for the Platinum version, and I have seen it in stock. Uh, Crash Team Races is £5, I think, Platinum. Uh, I think the main, the bigger, bigger ones, like the Black Label ones, are about 15 But I suppose the Mint ones are like 25 so... And then the next car boot, the bigger one. Didn't do too bad, this one. So there's one with a DS bundle. I think she wanted 25 for it. There's about 5 or 6 games in it. Had a quick flip through, but there was nothing, nothing good there apart from one game. So I was like, "Oh, you selling the game separately?" So he's like, "Yeah, make me an offer." So I was like, two pound." She's like, "Oh no, I want five from each." I was like, Ugh. "And then a friend said, oh no, sell it for free." And then neither of them said anything, and I was just like standing there, like, "What is it then? Five or three? So I was like, "How about four? And she's like, "Yeah, that's fine." So four pound. I've been after this game for a while. I got me. Super Princess Peach, nice and complete. So, have to get that in the collection for four pound. And then walk around a bit more. I uh, noticed some Lego. I don't really pick up Lego, but I know there's money in in Lego. I was like a massive tub of it, and so I was like, oh Lego. So I walked over to it, and then on top of the box next to it was this case, and I was like, you know, you see cases for handheld consoles, you're like they're always empty. We always got to pick them up to see if there's something in them. And there was something in this one. So, saw that. So an official PSP, uh, PSP, Game Boy Advance SP case. Bit grotter, but I can clean that up. So I opened it, I was like, excellent. So it's actually in there. It's a bit scratched. As you can see, the top is really scratched. But the insides are fine, because obviously the flip case design so I asked how much she wanted for that. She wanted three pounds for it, which is a bargain, I suppose. But there's no charger with it, so I wasn't sure if it worked. But you can always play that against them. You go, ah, oh, I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. So I was like, how about two quid? And she said, oh, two fifty. So two fifty got me an SP, the case. And then I noticed when I opened it up later, there was actually a game in there. So Super Mario Bros. Super Mario Advance Four, Super Mario Bros. Three. The weirdest title for a game ever. So yeah, £2.50 for that. That was pretty good. 
sniped it from under Tootie's nose. <laughs> and then, um, next thing, oh yeah, so there's a chap, he had a stall, and he was saying like, a lot of new stuff, and there was two of these on the floor, and I, no I noticed him selling the stuff a couple of bits before, and it all seemed pretty expensive. I was like, oh, I'll ask him anyway. So how much are these? And he's like, oh, he ummed and on. He's like, two pound. And he had two of them. I was going to buy both of them. And then I was like, oh, I'll just get one. I'll leave the other one for someone else. So, and I've, I've looked at reviews of these, and supposedly they're pretty good. But uh, it's, it looks in new condition. So two pound got me a Tetris light. And to be fair, it's pretty cool. I noticed that the blocks are a bit sensitive, though. You have to get them like, perfectly on each other. And sometimes they don't work very well. And sometimes when I walk across the room, the vibrations, it will start flashing. But uh, I read the reviews and some people did mention that. So £2. I, I think it's new. But I did actually go back to get the other one. And when I got there, he was like, oh, I want £3 now for it. So I was like, ah, I'll leave it for someone else. I was in a gonna flip it so but that's all I got from that week from the car boot oh no I didn't I got some Wii games yeah woman had a big box she had a big box of Xbox stuff which Amanda was looking through and then um, then she pulled up a bag with a Wii in so obviously I always go oh you send it as a bundle you send the game separately and she said uh, oh no I, yeah I'll sell the game separately I was like how's £2 each sound she's like yeah that's fine so I picked up these two, Mario Kart and Super Mario Galaxies, so £2 each for them, not bad. Even though the trading value on that has gone down loads, I think it's £5 now. And then uh, I noticed there was two Wiimotes in the thing, so I thought, oh, I'll see if she can she will separate the one of the remotes. And she was like, yeah, that's fine. So I was, uh, said, how oh, about £3 for it? So £3 for a blue Motion Plus remote. Well, that's pretty good. I also got the wheel with Mario Kart. But then um, two was next to me, and uh, I can't remember exactly what he said. We said, "Oh, uh, anything good in there?" To Amanda, and she's like, "Oh, I don't know. Just, you have a look." And um, then he pulls out freaking Louise's mansion. I was like, "What the hell? How did you not see that?" Wasn't she wasn't paying attention. But uh, yeah, I got I got some stuff. So. It's better that it's better for everyone to get something than everyone gets one person get everything and then well it just works out better that way so yeah so that was last week's car boot and then the car boot I've just got to just been to first car boot there was nothing it was a PS3 but the bloke was like I'm not set up yet so I was like and then when I went back there was another bloke in there buying it um, so then I flew off to the next car boot. I think it was about half an hour before I even bought anything. Because there's tons of dealers there buying games. I was like, oh, screw this, I'll go back on some of the old rows. Uh, I spotted this woman had a big um, big stack of Wii games. And right at the bottom I saw the red case. And I thought, well, everyone knows what that is. They see the red case in there. So I went to get it. That tripped over a stall. Like, it's not some stuff flying. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah. So I was like, again... You send it as a bundle, or or you send the game separately. She's like, oh no, I'll sell them separately. And so I was like, oh, what? How much do you want for the games? Then she's like, oh, how about a pound each? So I was like, yes, I'll definitely take them for a pound each. So for a pound each, got me Wii Sports Resort. Not much money in on that one. Uh, Wii Party, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, Mario Kart, Mario Kart again, and they're all complete. So that's nice. And then I saw this in the box: Wii Sports cardboard sleeve. It's all in there. So I was like, how's £4 sound for them? She's like, yeah, that's fine. So £4 for them. I thought that was pretty good. So at that point, I was pretty happy. At least I got something. Because after that, it went downhill real fast. Um, I noticed the chap had... Um, I noticed in the morning, I had like, loads of boxes, and there was a PlayStation Move controller in there. And I was like, didn't, didn't want to ask him because he looked like he was busy. So I thought I'd come back later. So I flew back later, friggin' two was in there. So I was like, God damn it. But hey, too slow I was. And there's a chap sending some leads. 
and I always pick these leads up when I see them. But uh, yeah, it's just uh, PlayStation 2 SCART cables. Because every time I get PlayStation 1 and I sell it, if I sell them Doncaster, I'll just put one of these with it. But yeah, they were 50p each, so better than uh, the old uh, RF cables. Yeah, and then I got a, a nunchuck for 50p. And then I got two more nunchucks for 50p each. And then I know someone had some PS2 games in the morning. And she was like, oh, pound each. I didn't actually look through there. Because I, I noticed a couple of other people had already like picked all the best ones out. But then I saw these and I was like, hey, you know what, I'll just get these. Pound each. That'll get solid. It does come with a demo. So that's pretty cool. I think CX sell that for a pound, but it's a really nice condition. And Age of Empires 2. So I got them. And at that point, the carpet was sort of full. So at that point, there's no point staying around the newer ones. You might as well just go around and see if you've missed anything or someone's missed anything. Um, there's one with some free, uh, 360 games, Xbox 360 games. She had Minecraft. She was like, oh, that's five pounds. And I was like, oh. <laughs> And I was like, do I ask about the other games? So I was like, how much is this one? She's like, oh, pound. I was like, I'll have that for a pound. So for one pound, Plants vs Zombies. And that we're going to see X in a minute. Nice and complete. Not that it matters, because uh, it's going to CX. Yeah, so one pound, I think it's six pounds for that in CX. And then I saw this game, and I think it was... Uh, two of mentioned this before, that there is some value in these games. So I saw it, I was like, eh, walked off, checked it. I was like, I can get six quid for that CX. So I nipped back, I was like, how much is the uh, game? She's like, oh, just a pound for that one. So a pound, got Peppa Pig. Fun and games, get six quid for it. But in it, there is the original Peppa Pig game, as well as the one. So I'm not sure whether I can just print a sleeve off and put it on an empty case I've got. Because that's £8 for that. So, because I've seen games in CX with a photocopied sleeve. So, we'll see. I, I suppose it depends on who's, who's behind the counter that day. But yeah, I'll, I'll give it a go. My printer's not the best, but uh, yeah. Uh, one thing from the charity shop recently, and I saw this game at the car. A chap had like four or five games at the car boot, um, and I was like, ah, oh, I think he wanted two pound each. And I was like, nah, I'll just leave them. And then after work, I dropped nipped into the charity shop nearby where the car boot was, and uh, the same five games were there. So whether it was just coincidence or not, that the same games were in there. But yeah, so for a pound, they now. Not much value in that, but I'll just take it to to uh, Doncaster, put a couple of quid on it. Um, oh, another thing I got today, actually, from the car boot, just as we were leaving. Uh, I saw this sticking out box. Uh, it's a Fallout 4 survival guide. I think it's just a, the guide for the game. But uh, it's, uh, it was a pound. It had a sticker on it. Somewhere, yeah, it was a pound, so I thought I'd take that for a quid. Uh, oh, yeah, another thing from last week PSP charger for uh, a pound. Always pick them up. Now, this next stuff I bought off eBay, and I was actually down the pub when I, cause I checked new listings on eBay, and I was like, oh, it's a bargain. Oh, so I had a few pints, so probably wasn't the best thing to buy but yeah I think it was £28.50 probably wasn't the best buy in the world but it turned up and it's not bad condition to be fair so it's a Super Nintendo game you can probably see it there it's a syndicate actually the box is pretty nice condition I mean the edges are slightly worn the manual and the game and then there's the new Syndicate game for PS3, which is worthless. But again, I'll take it to Doncaster, put a couple of quid in it. And then the PS1 version of Syndicate, Syndicate Wars. I noticed the disc in this is really scratched and missing the teeth. I don't see many PS1 games which are missing the teeth. That's not my Dreamcast games. 
Yeah, and that's pretty scratched. I don't know what they've been doing with that. Yeah, that was £28.50. I don't know why I bought it. I'd had a few pints. I was just like, ah, it's such a good price. And it wasn't such a good price, but I'll get my money back for it. No, I might keep Syndicate. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see. Cram that back there. A couple of uh, other bits I've bought recently off the internet. So, a big fan of the PlayStation Vita. Always looking out for games in it. It's going to be one of those systems which the games are going to be pretty hard to find. There's a lot of niche titles. I know that it's, uh, is it NIS? NIS America. They, they release a ton of like obscure JRPGs on it. Uh, I'm surprised this one got released. And it is on PS4. I don't have a PS4. So if I can get it on a console I have, then I will do that. Eventually I'll get a PS4, but there's just not enough games which appeal to me at the moment. That might change with Nino Kuni 2, because that one is looking like looking tastier. But uh, yeah, that bought me World of Financy. Now, I've checked the reviews on this. It looks like the sort of game I'd enjoy. And I think it fit better on a on a, the PlayStation VR, but yeah, I think that was eighteen pound. That was pretty good. And the next game, I saw this on Hot Deals UK. I think it was sixteen pound. And I read a lot of good stuff about it. I know the second one's just came out, but it's the old uh, Yokai Watch. And Amanda, was, Amanda has been playing it. I played the demo of it when it was released. It was a lot like Pokemon. And my main problem with Pokemon is all the games are the, they're all the same game pretty much, and I'd, I've I've got them, and I play them. Well, when I get them, I play them for a few hours, and it's just like it's the same as the last one. There's no lasting appeal for me. It doesn't really doesn't it just doesn't do anything for me. So I was like, am I going to enjoy Yokai Watch? But to be fair, from what I played, and Amanda's played it as well, we both say it's better than Pokemon so I've only played the demo so obviously I can't comment as much but uh, yeah I'm definitely going to give that a go it looks like a lot more a lot more fun to me than, than Pokemon but we'll see and the last game is uh, Dark Souls 2 Scars of the First Sin and I've just finished Dark Souls 1 on 360, it took me like 4 years to complete it it's an absolute pain in the ass that game. I've broke, I've nearly broke many controllers playing that, that goddamn game. Yeah, I finally done it. So I might start this. I might not. I might, I might, <laughs> I might wait a few months, let the anger calm down from playing the first one. But we'll see. And then the last few, the last thing is actually I'm going to take it back <laughs> now. I um, took some Dreamcast games back in, so if you watch my uh, my CX Roulette Dreamcast uh, video, there was a few there I wasn't keeping, so I took them back in. The bloke was really funny about me taking the return them. He was saying, "Oh, if you want mint games, you should buy. If, if you want, because uh, he goes, oh, I need a I need a reason why you're returning them.' So I was like, "Well, the condition," and he's like, "But you bought them boxed, not mint," and I was like. But I don't want mint versions of the games. And I was like, I bought 30 Dreamcast games off CX. And most of them had have been nearly mint. So I'm not really sure. And I, to be fair, somewhere missing, one was missing the back cover. So I was like, well, that's that's not boxed, is it? Because I can't bring a PS2 game in with no sleeve. It's, it's the same sort of thing. So, But he did it anyway. So, And then I saw this on the shelf. So it was, this is boxed. And I was looking at it, I think that looks mint to be fair. So I was like, oh, can I have a look at that? And I asked the bloke, I was like, oh, why, why, is it, why is it boxed and not mint? So he gets it out. And the game in question is uh, Bart's Nightmare. And maybe it was this sticker here. Oh, that's what I thought at first. I thought, oh, it must be this sticker here because someone has tried to get it off. But the actual box is, I mean, there's a the tiny bit there, but overall I was like that's pretty goddamn mint and it was a bit funny about showing me that he didn't want to actually give me it to hold and then he was like oh yeah it's all it's all there yeah you know, he went sort of like that and I was like I was like I'll take that 
I think I traded, traded one game in towards it. I tried to use my vouchers, which I had through email, but they were not loading. So I was like, I'll just pay cash for it. So when I got back, and then later that night, I was like looking at it, I was like, I picked it up, and I said to Amanda, I was like, oh, it's really good condition this is. And I spun the manual around, and I was like, God damn it, it's actually water damaged, and it's all the stuck together. I was like, for God's sake. So, yeah, not, so that's probably going to go back. But I'll probably put it towards uh, some of the Dreamcast games I saw in there. So, uh, not the end of the world. A bit annoying though. Because from the box, from looking at the box, you go, that's, that's nice and mint. But, hey, it is what it is. And I think that's everything. I know Sega Saturn has been put on. I think I mentioned that in a previous video. That they're not put, Saturn's sort of the last biggish one they could put up. Uh, and then literally as I said that, the next day it was up on there. And there's, again, there's already stuff in stock, so people are obviously trading the stuff in. There's a couple of heavy, real, quite pricey titles on there. But the problem with Sega Saturn is the boxes are so shit that I, d I don't think I'd risk ordering any. Unless it's like the plastic clamshell later release games, I might risk it. But yeah, I, don't, I wouldn't really want the hassle of dealing with that. But yeah, I think that's everything I have to say. So I hope everyone's well, and I hope you enjoy the bank holiday tomorrow, even though this video will probably go up after the bank holiday. So I probably should say, I hope you had a good bank holiday, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. <laughs>